how's it feel now officially being your number one quarterback? Um, it's good. I mean, obviously, you don't ever want to see a guy go down. Like Elijah, a really good guy, a really good person. But it feels good to, you know, have confidence in yourself that, you know, for right now it's your team, and you know you're gonna get the one reps, and you're gonna you're gonna be the guy to lead the the team, and that's what that's what you come here for, and that's what you dream about. How much? I mean, you know how smart you are as far as learning the playbook, but translating learning to playing to executing. What percentage do you think that you're at with that, if you understand that question? You're saying, like... <laughs> you know the playbook. I know people being able to run it on right. in a real game. Right. Yeah, I mean, that, that's going to come, and I feel like I showed progress from right. the two games that I've played in. So hopefully we keep going up. We don't ever want to go down. So I'm excited for it to try to keep going up. Have you stopped, you know... Sometimes players get in trouble when they think too much. Mm -hmm. Are you are you pat? Do you feel like you're you've moved past that? I I feel like I did in, in the Minnesota game. Move past that a little bit. I felt more comfortable out there, and you know it was good to be able to see with my eyes what was happening, and then that being the, the correct thing. Um, I, I felt like I knew what defense that Minnesota was in every every snap. So that was really good for my confidence. I think. Right. My guess is you've never played in front of 90,000 people in uh, Arizona, but no. uh, handling uh, that kind of atmosphere, have you sought any advice or, or how are you kind of preparing for uh, your first Big Ten road trip? Um, I mean, obviously it's, it's going to be loud, but really when you're out there, you don't really, like when I was in Ross State, I didn't really pay attention to the fans. I didn't really, when you're on the field, it's just a normal football field, 100 yards, 53 yards wide. So um, I think it'll just be the noise factor, really. Uh, I, won't, I don't think that the size of the stadium or anything will affect me. You think they'll call more design runs for you? I mean, for a 6'5", 220 guy, you're pretty nimble. Um, I mean, that's up to the coaches, whatever uh, they want to game plan. If they think it's going to work, then, you know, I'm going to go do what, the, what I'm asked to do. So if that's what's on the, the call sheet, then they will go do it. Do you have to emphasize with the receivers a little bit not to do too much because everyone's going to try to make up for Rondell's absence that just kind of staying within themselves is, is the best course of action um I, I think our guys aren't trying to press too. they don't feel any pressure to they need to step up um you know we're going to run our offense and they if they run their job right if we execute the play correctly all 11 guys on the same page then you know I think we we're good. Mm -hmm. I think we're really good when we do that. So, I mean, obviously, Rondell's a really, really good player, and we did design plays to get him the ball. But we got other good players, and we're going <clears> to <throat> use our playbook to get them the ball, too. Just how far David Bell has come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, David uh, was huge in the Minnesota game. And, you know, I, I saw <laughs> it in, in the summer just out here when we were doing the player practices, how how good he was. I knew he was talented or, or like, uh, I knew he was like a hyped player, and it was good to see him come out in the summer, but then he kind of had the little hamstring deal. and um, So it's good to see him getting back to where I saw him in the summer, which is a really, really good player. Uh, Coach Brom says, as a quarterback in the classroom, you're as good as it gets. Where does your kind of studious nature come from, and how do you? Um, I don't know. I kind of always just – that stuff kind of always just clicked with me. I really like – that's my kind of my favorite part of the game is – the, the strategy. I mean, a lot of people think it's just a bunch of idiots banging heads, but I mean, they don't, they don't know the strategy that goes into a game, the preparation, how much time the coaches spend in the facility. And, you know, as a kid, just, you know, playing like NCAA football and just, just closing my eyes and choosing a defense and then like practice mode and seeing, oh, I'm trying to, trying to <laughs> run it through simulations in NCAA football. And, and um, one of my high school coaches, played in the NFL and he uh, he really kind of drew me and got my head into it because he when he came in to our school he he was saying things that I never even thought of or never heard of and it was like just mind-boggling to me and uh, really interesting to me and I was I'm not the type of guy that's gonna um, not learn if I know I can learn something I'm gonna learn it, mm -hmm. and it it'll bug me if I don't know what's happening it'll bug me if I don't know what every single player on the field is doing, which is why 
I, I just like that stuff. I, I, I like that stuff. Are you more. are you a guy that kind of pours over film and all nighter, or what? How do you prepare everything? Uh, I try to spread it out. Um, so watch, you know, two hours at a time, and then you know do something else, and then you know spread it throughout the day. So by the end of the week, I'll have gotten a, a good seven hours, seven eight hours of filming for for takeoff. Does 